Brand Rising Pirates. Happy Monday on a beautiful Monday morning. Even though it's raining, it's been raining here since last night, like fucking storming, like wind and fucking pouring rain. And it's still beautiful. Look at this. I don't let a little rain rain on my parade. <laughs> Oh, life is beautiful, all of it, even the storms. And because there's no visible sunrise today, we're getting a little red light action. So this is the overclocked panel from Gemberet. It's a combination of red and infrared light, and it's intense and bright, which very closely mimics the sunlight. Uh, specifically the morning sunrise and the sunset, which are very high in red and infrared rays. So this is one of my top, it is my number one recommended go-to biohack for anybody who lives in a place where it's like this, overcast on a consistent basis. So this is how you can sort of hack your circadian rhythm and get rid of some seasonal affective disorder when you don't have access to the sun by getting you a high quality red light panel. Making a little Whole Foods run. Are you kidding me? Look at this deal. 100% grass-fed organic ground beef for only $6.49 a pound. On sale. I basically bought them out. I got 30 packs. <laughs> Might as well. All right, so this Whole Foods doesn't have a lot of the stuff that I typically get at Sprout, so I'm having to look around and explore and, and rethink what I'm getting. And uh, one of the things that I'm trying out, because they don't have raw milk, unfortunately, but they do have Alexander Farms, which is a good brand, A2, A2 organic milk that has been pasteurized, but uh, we're gonna try this full 6% milk fat. All right, so this walk back in the rain with the, uh, the cart, and it, it was kind of a long walk, so the Whole Foods here in Laguna, uh, there's not like a, uh, well, there is a direct entrance, but I didn't park in the direct entrance. So I took a longer walk with my car, and that reminded me of when I was in Saudi Arabia, uh, and I didn't have a car, and I had to walk all the way to the grocery store, and all the way back, which was like, I don't even know, like a mile, and uh, <laughs> I wasn't just gonna carry like a shit ton of bags of groceries, because it was more than I could carry, so I, I took one of the carts, and was just walking in the rain to and from the store in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> everybody, with my shirt off, mind you. Uh, <laughs> everybody in their car is driving by and walking on the street like just staring at me the whole time. Like, what is this man doing? I've never seen anything like that there. So yeah, I, I turned a lot of heads <laughs> when I was in Saudi Arabia. That's for sure. All right, full sprouts haul. Show you what I got. 30 pounds of the ground beef that was on sale. Organic cheese, unfortunately, they didn't have raw. Some organic mandarin oranges that will actually go perfect in this bowl. Nice. Four organic Honeycrisp apples going in the bowl. Dozen oysters, organic rainbow carrots, and to go with it, some special edition Nutso s'mores flavor. I'm stoked for this. Some organic California raisins, some organic walnuts and pecans, organic macadamia nuts, grass-fed A2 kefir and milk, purely Elizabeth granola, some organic wild blueberries, organic dried mango, and then the beet sauerkraut, the herbal kraut, and then the red onions. And filled up on some super cheap reverse osmosis water. This is a fantastic option for cheap, clean water. Go to any Sprouts, Whole Foods, a lot of grocery stores will have reverse osmosis dispensers and it's super cheap. It's like uh, at Whole Foods, it was 35 cents for a gallon. All right, so I'm doing a little unpacking and organizing. I found this coin. My buddy Joe Lindley gave me this coin and it says Primatado Malorum on it with a shipwreck. And what this means is a to meditate on and contemplate challenges and evils before they arise. So I want to read a quote from Seneca that sums up what this represents. What is quite unlooked for is more crushing in its effect and unexpectedness adds to the weight of the disaster. This is a reason for ensuring that nothing ever takes us by surprise. 
We should project our thoughts ahead of us at every turn and have in mind every possible eventuality instead of only the usual course of events. Rehearse them in your mind. Exile, torture, war, shipwreck. All the terms of our human lot should be before our eyes. So yes, I talk about having a positive mindset and always finding the good in things. And it's also equally important to, like prima tata malorum, a stoic principle, to meditate on what could possibly go wrong. And you can use that as motivation to go in a better direction, to make changes in your life to make sure that those things do not happen. And if they do happen, you are prepared for them because you have mentally rehearsed them. And be prepared for every situation. So I have weapons stored all over my house, just in case. All right, for lunch, having some leftover steak. Show you guys what I've been up to. So I decided to reorganize the bookshelf a little bit. So yeah, we made a little bit more of a mess, but it's gonna be exactly how I want it by the time I'm done. All right, for second lunch, we got some ground beef, eggs, and cheese. While I eat this, I'm going to be listening to a podcast by my buddy Ryan Sprague. His podcast is called That One Time on Psychedelics, and he's interviewing Brandon Joe Williams talking about sovereignty. Check it out. All right, after lunch, going to get a quick little steel mace movement session in. Yes, even in the rain, because how could I not? Look at this view. Quick little 15 minute jammer. Don't ever let yourself give the excuse that you don't have time to work out. Five minutes is plenty enough time. 60 seconds to move your body. Do a max set of burpees in 60 seconds. The I don't have time is such a bullshit excuse. We all have time for our priorities. So if health, happiness, fulfillment, physical freedom are priorities for you, then you will prioritize movement. That is why it is the T in the captain's code. Train your mind, train your body, get after it. All right, so that'll be it for this video. It's currently 4.30 p.m. and I wanna edit this and get it out before evening time because I've been staying up later than I would like to on technology editing. So I'm gonna edit it now, get it out, and then continue organizing and uh, setting up the rest of my apartment. But I wanna show you guys the bookshelf that I completed today. So here we go, here's what we're working with. The updated edition. Yeah, things are coming together nicely. Now we just gotta get rid of some of this clutter. But yeah, that's it for today. And uh, check back tomorrow. And until then, live the captain's lifestyle. Peace and love y'all.